Hey everyone, it's Deacon082, and welcome back to my Pokemon Crystal version Nuzlocke. At the end of last episode, we got a phone call from Youngster Joey, asking for a rematch. And, this is the first time where I really haven't thought things through all the way, because if we go back to Joey, he now does not want to battle us, because he wanted to battle us three days ago when I last recorded. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that rule, because... Well, just with my recording schedule. But anyway, it's 7.48 in the morning, and you might be calling me crazy for being on this early, but there's a Pokemon I really want to catch, and it's not on this route, but this is Route 31, and our first encounter on this route is going to be... Caterpie! Caterpie is what I was trying to catch on Route 30 before this. I've already done the bio on Caterpie, but... I didn't really talk a lot about Butterfree. It learns a lot of useful moves. It learns Stun Spore, Sleep Powder, uh, Poison Powder, stuff like that. Uh, confusion. So, a lot of really good status moves that'll help out. Plus, we're catching this one at level 4. So, it won't take as long to level up to the rest of the team. And we caught a Caterpie, our next team member. Less than two minutes into the episode, Caterpie Worm Pokemon. So, I will come up with a nickname for this. Okay, we are going to name this Caterpie Ike, for no apparent reason. And its color up there in the sprite, it looks just like Weedle. I mean, they couldn't have differentiated that any better. So, coming up here, Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. So, this is the entrance to Dark Cave. Before we go in, though, we'll pick up this potion. And this is why I am here in the morning, because there is a Pokemon in Dark Cave that only appears 5% of the time and only in the morning. And I am really going to hope to find that. But first of all, it is really hard to navigate this place. And are we going to find it? No, we are not. We find a Zubat in a cave. Perfect. Zubat is not even the second choice I was looking for, but I will attempt to catch it anyway. Anyway, we'll go for bios. This is Zubat. Zubat is poison and flying type, although it begins with leech life, which is a bug type move. Zubat is really weak and doesn't learn a lot of good attacking options for quite a while. It evolves into Golbat at, I believe, level 22, where it gets a lot stronger. But the thing about Zubat, if you can keep it alive all the way a little past when it evolves into Golbat, through happiness, it evolves into Crobat, who is a really strong Pokemon in terms of stats. It's got a little more, well, a lot more defense than you'd expect, actually. And this thing's taken quite a while to catch, so I will go over the other Pokemon available in Dark Cave. First of all, the one I was trying to catch in the morning is Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa, very rare. And for rare Pokemon in this game, they also have a chance of running away any turn of the battle. Teddy Ursa has really strong attack and evolves into Ursaring, which is even stronger. And... It's a really good Pokemon you can have. Maybe one of the best you can catch at this point. And this Zubat is a throwback to my Pokemon Emerald Mono Poison run that I did a while back. This Zubat will be named Spider-Man. And the reasoning behind that, I thought Batman would be a dumb name for it. Too obvious. So, while I struggle to get this item in here, which I always struggle so much with, we will go over the next Pokemon in here, which is Geodude. Geodude, you really want to get one of these if you can. It's actually the most common in here, and I don't know why we haven't found one yet. There, there's one. Geodude is rock and ground type, which is actually a really bad typing, but it has really high defense, and it's hard to take it down, with attacks that we see early, as most of them are like normal and flying type attacks, and Geodude 
is strong against them in addition to its really high defense. Finally, we get this potion. Geodude evolves into Graveler at level 25, which is kind of late, but its defense will make up for that. Graveler then evolves into Golem by trade, but since we cannot trade in this run, you will not be able to get a Golem, as we're going to pick up this Bitterberry on the tree. Bitterberry cures confusion, I believe. Yes. We have one more trainer left on this route, and I don't think anyone in my party's good enough to handle it, except Dean right now. They're all a little low on health. It's a bug catcher, so Dean should be good for it anyway. I'm just looking at the time here, seeing if we'll have time to challenge the gym. I'm gonna have to level a lot off screen if we're going to, but for the first gym, if you can get a Geodude in Dark Cave, then you're in good shape because the gym leader is flying type. And while Geodude doesn't learn a rock type move for a while, at level 8 or level 9, Geodude should easily be able to withstand attacks from Faulkner's Pidgey and Pidgeotto. And a lot of the stuff you'll be able to catch here is grass type or bug type, so you'll be weak to it anyway. Luckily we don't have any... never mind, we do have a Caterpie now. Okay, there are a few Pokemon you can catch on Route 31 that we're on now that I haven't gone over. The first one you'll see is Bellsprout, available 20% of the time at all times of day. Bellsprout is a grass type, it's also part poison, and it's got pretty good attack power, however most of its attacking moves are special. And overall, Bellsprout's a pretty good Pokemon. You can fully evolve it really early on if you can find a Leaf Stone. It evolves into Weeping Bell around level 20, and then into Victory Bell with a Leaf Stone. And they're really powerful, just kind of hard to keep alive, but there are a few other places you can catch Bell Sprout, so hopefully we can find one, even though it'll be a little redundant already having Subito. And this Bug Catcher, you can actually also talk to and get his phone number, and he will find a bunch of berries that he'll be able to give you. Which, because I'm going for berries early on, it's a pretty good person to have in your phone in your phone book. Yeah. Um, a few other Pokemon you can catch on this route, but they're only in other times of day. So I will um I'll go over one now while we're healing in Violet City. The first one, available on both of the routes prior to this, at nighttime, is Poliwag. Poliwag is the first water type you can obtain if you didn't choose Totodile. It relies on hypnosis type attacks, and it's not very good, but it will evolve into Poliwhirl around 25, and Poliwhirl is a pretty good water type, and it has two evolutions but only one of them we are able to get, and that would be Poliwrath, a water fighting type. And Poliwrath is strong physically, it however doesn't learn any fighting type moves that are any good, so we will probably not be getting one. And I'm looking to see if we can get repels here, but we cannot. Okay, for the Violet City Gym, the leader uses a level 9 Pidgeotto, is his highest level, so that means we cannot be above level 8 entering the gym. So I'm going to level my team to level 8 off screen, and I will meet you guys back here. What the crap just... That's all I have to say. Go for it, Daryl. I am in serious trouble. Actually, it used... How did it run out of PP so fast? Note to self, never 
use throttle. Never. It's okay to speed it up to about 200%, but it is never okay to use throttle. I'm like, oh, well he can't do more than one damage to me with Vine Whip. I forget Vine Whip only has 10 PP. And then he hits me with Struggle, and Spider-Man apparently fainted. And I will look back over the tape of that to see what exactly I did wrong in that, but I already know. For the second time, my Zubat has died from me being stupid. And we didn't really get any time to bond, but Spider-Man was such a loyal team member for no time at all. So what this will bring us upon, because it is still morning. Now, honestly, there are other routes that we can go on, but I didn't want to go on any of them because I wanted a certain Pokemon in my first six. Now, however, we've lost one, so there is another route or two that we can go on right now, and I'm going to head onto one of them as soon as I make the very first deposit of this run. So we'll go into Bill's PC, change our bots to the very last one, bots 14, and this will be our dead bots for the run. Okay, so we will make a deposit. And I accidentally healed, so Spider-Man is at full health, but so long, Spider-Man. I would release you, but we are keeping you here for records. I'm, I'm sorry, Spider-Man. But we have to move on. The other route that we could go on previously, you're going to go from Route 29 and just head back. And you may have noticed, if I can get over here, there was a gatehouse on the north side of the route up here. And this gatehouse leads us to a new route, Route 46. Route 46 has a few Pokemon we've already seen before, as well as one new one that occurs 5% of the time only in the morning. And this is not it. This is actually another new Pokemon, Spearow. Spearow, another normal flying type. This one actually learns Peck at a low level instead of just Tackle. I think it's better than Pidgey because it evolves into Fearow much earlier than Pidgey. Well, much earlier than you would get a Pidgeot. So, we will have a Spearow as our next team member. Spearow evolves into Fearow at around level 20 or 22. And it learns some good moves. It can also be a fly slave if we need one. But our team's looking really generic with two Pidgeys and a Spearow. So I will come up with a name for this Spearow now. And this Spearow, because it's a flying type and it's a female, it's going to be named after a flying type gym leader who is also a female from Generation 5, Skyla. While it looks nothing like Skyla, hey, it, it kind of fits. So. This route is a decent place to train if you want to, but it's really not because there are some Pokemon that are weak to our attacks. You can also find Geodude here quite commonly, which is actually what I was going for. The Pokemon I mentioned that appears only 5% of the time in the morning is Famfy, and if you've watched Chugakanori, you know that it's very rare and it likes to run away from battle. Famfy is a pure ground type, and it's it's pretty good. It evolves into Donphan, which is a really strong Pokemon, and, well, I recommend using one if you can get one, but getting one is harder said than done, or easier said than done. It's, it's really hard to do. So I'm going to do a little bit more training, but because of the time that we spent there trying to uh, train Spider-Man and it failed, we are not going to be taking on the gym in this episode. Joey, this is not the time. Let's get together and battle. I promise things will be different 
We're out 30s, we're all me. Give me a shout. Alright, so the final thing I'll be doing in this episode, Youngster Joey wants another rematch. And in this battle, we have Ike out front at level 5, my secret weapon. And Youngster Joey, I've been waiting. Let's battle now. So here we go. The epic rematch with Joey, even though he already wanted one before, but we apparently missed it. Now the opposing trainers will level up, eventually. Not this early on in the game. But we will try to take out Joey's Radita here with Ike. Just to show how amazing Ike is. Because you know, we like Ike. And it's not going to happen. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna switch out here. Tail Whip accounted for a lot of that. So we'll... Actually, I was gonna use Subito for the first battle. The first rematch with Joey. So I'll use him now. And look at Subito just tanking that tackle attack. And Joey's Radita is almost down. Almost down. And there it goes. Ike grows to level 6. And Subito grows to level 8. And learns Razor Leaf. Which is a very good grass-type move. Um, for the first time in this game, you can actually check the power of your moves on the move screen. And Razor Leaf has 55 attack power. Now because Subito is a grass-type, you can essentially multiply that by 1.5, which gives you an attack power of 82.5. It's going to be not very effective on the Pidgeys in the gym, but it will still be stronger than Tackle. And it has a high critical hit rate. So Subito, while it's a grass type and while it is weak to the gym, it still could see some use. But anyway, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Crystal version, Nuzlocke, we will be heading up to Violet Gym after I finish training up a little bit, and we will be taking on Faulkner. See you then.